What's up YouTube and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how you can go ahead and have that person regret losing you. Now this is so important to go ahead and have it work correctly. It means that you've done all the checking off. You did it correctly. No skipping. Remember when you invested so much time, effort, energy, and money? You have to treat this so serious because the regret really comes from not having that anymore from you. And also the regret has to be felt by, oh this person has noticed how I am and they see no value in dealing with me no longer. That that means when you go ahead and get that person to regret losing you you have to first improve within yourself first internally externally internally you have to focus on what are the toxic traits that you might have yourself what are the habits that you feel like that person got tired of let's say if you like to get mad and go off or let's say if you shut down and don't talk these are things that you want to work on because you need the person that is supposed to regret losing you and let's even say eventually want you back actually work to get you back you want them to see that there is changes in you that they don't want to miss out on anymore or there is just the basics of this person was good or they were good to me and I didn't appreciate it so what are you personally doing in your life that you feel like it's already a good thing now I want y'all to actually start off with writing it down I feel like that's more important but make sure you comment down your exact experience and if you do feel like that person is still good for you comment still on them I say still on them because that means you're still trying to deal with them still trying to figure out what you got going on whether it's a situation ship entanglement or a full-blown relationship I want y'all to really take this serious because you're taking your life serious you're not taking what that person is or who they are what they've done you're not taking none of that serious to you that doesn't matter no longer you matter you matter now that means if you matter so much you are improving not only are you going to be focused on yourself but that means when you do go ahead and improve what are you doing in the real life let's put it like that that you go ahead and show that there's something that has changed inside of you there's something inside of you that has made you feel like i gotta do better now your actions are following up what about your situation if you're gonna be ignoring or if there's other stuff that you have going on it could be about anything self-improvement back to dating consultations are available for that book your consultation let's get on the line and talk about what's going on with you click that link after this video go ahead and create a list i want y'all to do it on paper and if you have a phone do it in your notes or you can go ahead and just do it on anything maybe if you want to just think about it some of y'all are going to try to keep it up here but it's better off to see it physically i want y'all to go ahead and acknowledge all the positive things that you have going on Write the things that you know you love about yourself and the things that you know what you've done for others that they should have appreciated or they simply did actually appreciate it. So that means that you could be such a hardworking person. Then that means that you treat everybody that you love around you with kindness or you appreciate the ones that you love. Something as simple as that. Or it could be, I always show up. They don't always show up for me, but you will always show up. That's the type of person that you are. Now, I want y'all to do this because it's also going to be compared to the things that you do have to change about yourself. Because remember, there could be laziness as well. There could be you thinking that, oh, this is smart to do, but it's not smart. It's really the idiotic way. And I got to say it like that, the idiotic way to go ahead and go about it because all it's doing is it's bringing you backwards. Now, with that being said, I want y'all to go ahead and think about what you could have done differently if you needed to do things differently. So let's say if you were extremely invested in the relationship and you forgot about yourself self-love is always going to matter right so if that person sees that you don't love yourself more then how are they going to be the ones to show up for you now don't get it twisted don't get it wrong when there's serious relationships and somebody genuinely cares for you and if you're going through a hard period of time because we all do especially if you're going to be suffering through depression especially if you're going to have other mental health that is going on and it's getting the best of you that person is supposed to be there for you be your better half be supportive but because we're talking about the modern day, when you can't really depend, rely on your partner that much, now not every relationship is down bad, but when we're talking about what's the majority, because that might be your situation, that might be what's wrong, you have to start with yourself to fix it. There is no way this person is going to go ahead and regret losing you when they see that all you keep choosing is done over yourself. So that means you much rather hurt by being connected to them than hurting on your own to become a better person. Let that sink in. So that means if you are going to suffer, you're going to have hard days or sleepless nights or tiredness and you don't want to actually do something, but you do it. Let's say like going to the gym, let's say working extra hours, working overtime. So those things, when you don't decide to go that route and suffer and have that type of pain, and instead you choose to, I'm going to go back. I'm going to dwell and be stuck on this person. I'm going to be in bed crying all day long. No, 
that's not what you want. That's not what you need. Actually, let's put it like that. Because absolutely not. It's going to keep you in the same boat. And it's going to keep you remaining with that bad mental health. When I say bad, it can fall into different things. Sometimes it's really sadness. Sometimes it's really anger. You could be really mad. You could be also bitter. Like, why do they not want me? Or they need to want me. Or I, I treated them good. They all deserve me. And they'll never have me. But yeah, y'all are still stuck on that person. Now, I don't want to get to the elaborating on these things. We'll leave that for another video. But I want y'all to also compare it back to the bad things that you have to change about yourself. Because when it comes down to things that you know you have to do to physically, mentally, spiritually improve, you got to do it. And emotion is going to matter, especially for a lot of fellas out here because you're masculine, right? And then, of course, with women, they could also be more feminine. Here, give this video a big thumbs up if you still haven't. And go ahead and check out my book that I just dropped. It's called Men's Secrets to Winning Her Over. Includes so much details on what women want what women desire how to flirt with her i have my personal story with an alpha male and a sigma male how great or what the great characteristics of them some of the things that you guys can make sure you could be applying have confidence with and so much more other details if you're struggling in the dating game or you want to just simply improve your dating game you can go ahead and get this book by clicking the link down below and y'all i have other things such as cold approaching something you guys can go ahead and master after you guys purchase this book click that link she needs to be more like the submissive woman not every woman wants to be submissive but if she needs to be more submissive she needs to go ahead and be willing or let's even say she got to be nurturing loving a lot of the feminine sweet things that she got to be showing up and bringing to the table and even just being your backbone be supportive you can't do all of these things and she needs to do more of it that means she would have to work on that that person would have to work on that women out here can be doing better for themselves just the same way that y'all could be doing better for yourself now of course with a fella if you need to be more masculine you got to go ahead and put Put in the work. When I say put in the work, I'm talking about what are you doing to go ahead and make yourself ultimately look like, oh my gosh, I know he could take care of me. I know he could lead. I could be safe around him. Oh my gosh, I feel like he's a protector. Not only a provider, but a protector. And overall, she can respect you as a man because what are you? You are a man. You're not showing up to be soft or less than, or you're not devaluing yourself. So you want to go ahead and practice on the things that you can go ahead and improve. The things that you already have going on, take your focus away from it for a little bit. Not to say that you don't have to care about it or not think about it. Just means that you're good and you're well off on that area for the most part. Now, if you go go ahead and improve in these areas, let's say if you have a specific goal. If that person regrets losing you, it could be simply because they find you so attractive now. They simply find you to be the one that a lot of women will want out here. You could be the one that now has that person jealous. Now, I don't want them to be jealous about you. Sometimes jealous could be a positive thing. It really depends on the situation. But sometimes some people will look at it as in they care about you. Now, of course, jealous can also fall into, oh, they're getting too close to being really on the envious side. Really on the, well, I don't want to see them with somebody else. Well, if somebody else wants them and they look that good, I got to have them back. No, it's a positive thing for a lot of people because that's the way you could have them regret losing you. Because they feel like now, oh no, you're the best out here. Or you're the best that I could actually get because now you look better than my ex. And there's so many other areas you could be doing great that makes that person regret losing you. So if it's going to be your finances, that's a major one. If it's going to be the way you carry yourself, what you've done, what you went ahead and made happen. Like let's say if you had goals that you've been saying you're going to do and you're now getting to. It's a positive because maybe they believe that you were never going to do it and they underestimated you. Now I'm going to bring this topic back up. Break down so much more things and other things that you can go ahead and do to get them to go ahead and regret losing you. If y'all want this video, make sure you comment part two and of course other types of videos that y'all want to see. Give this video a big thumbs up if you still have it. And of course, check out all my links down below and make sure you are subscribed with your post notification. That's it for this video. Bye y'all and exclusive content make sure you go ahead and do that by clicking the patreon link or becoming a youtube member and a whole lot of other things you'll never see and all other types of pictures too so go ahead and click that link down below after this video